Bill Berquist here with Burns Engineering. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to program our model T55 transmitter doing a matched calibration with a calibrated platinum resistance thermometer. First off we need the calibration kit, programming kit, and it's our model number TP09. In this kit that includes this interface box, um, plugs into a PC with a USB connection, and then you have your connections to the transmitter. Um, this is our model T55 transmitter here. Uh, for doing most of this, I guess the first step would be to install the software. There's a, a link to the software shown inside the cover here, and you can just download that. It's also a um, instructions on how to install the software. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It works with uh, Windows 10. I think you can even go back to like uh, 7. Um, don't think it works on XP, but certainly Windows 7 and 10. Um, so anyway, first step is to install the software on the PC. And then, <coughs> um, then you can go ahead and plug in the interface box. And this is actually powered off of the PC, so if you're using a laptop, you will need to make sure it gets plugged into a USB port that does have power to it. Some of the ports on uh, portable laptop PCs do not. Um, desktop machines do. And then, uh, when we're just connecting the transmitter by itself here, we only, we only need to use the red and black leads. Uh, the, the red and yellow, or the green and yellow, are for connecting it up if you have it um, hooked into an active loop uh, that um, is using heart communications. <clears throat> so anyway, the, the black lead, just like typical DC power, is negative, and the red lead <clears throat> is positive. So we hook that up. And then we'll jump over to the software and I can show you how that um, is set up and how we plug in all of the calibration information into the software so that we get a, a matched calibration <coughs> between the PRT and the transmitter. Um, you may ask, oh, why would you want to do that? Well, the big reason is to improve the system accuracy of the PRT and transmitter. Uh, the, the transmitter by itself is about a um, tenth of a degree C. It kind of depends on the temperature range it's set to. The PRT itself, um, if we get a an uncalibrated version with just a like a class A interchangeability, it's plus or minus 0.13 degrees C at zero. But as you go away from zero degrees, that number gets quite large. It can be, you know, at 100 degrees, it can be up to like a half a degree C, or nearly a half a degree. So by doing a matched calibration, we eliminate the interchangeability of the PRT. So that half a degree C number, pretty much all of that goes away except for the calibration uncertainty. Of the of the lab that is doing the calibration to it, our lab it's plus or minus 0 0.025 degrees C. So, quite a huge difference there. Um, so when we match it to this transmitter, and then we include some other minor error sources, uh, we end up with about plus or minus 0.2 degrees C for a system accuracy over quite a wide temperature range. Certainly, uh, like zero to 200 degrees C, we're easily within that plus or minus 0.2 degrees C uh, tolerance band. And now we'll we'll jump over to the software, and I can show you how to plug in all those coefficients and upload those into the transmitter. First thing we need to do to program the transmitter is look up the calibration information. Um, and that can be found right in this table on our calibration reports. And we can see here where we've calibrated this sensor at 0, 100, and 200 degrees C. And the actual resistance values of the probe are shown here. The uncertainty of this calibration is 25 
millikelvin, which is the same as plus or minus 0 0.025 degrees C. Now the coefficients we need are shown here, and these are the numbers you'll actually enter into the transmitter software. So now we can go over to the transmitter software, and in here we can see where we have a um, spot here you can plug in a, a tag number, um, serial number for the probe, and some other information here. Uh, the part number that you want to select off of this list over here, um, this is for our T55 transmitter for example, is this 5335. Now this number is going to be shown on the transmitter right underneath our part number. So it'll say T55 and right underneath it it's going to have the PR electronics part number. And that's the one that you want to select off of the list here. Next we go to the input tab, we'll select RTD elements, and the default here is going to be, actually it comes up with this, um, the, the nominal values for a platinum 100 ohm sensor, but what we want to do is select the custom PT100. We can set our temperature zero and span numbers here, degrees C and F, and either a three or a four wire RTD system. Next we go to the output tab. There's some other options here you can select. Uh, these are all fairly well documented in the instruction manual. And if you do have other questions feel free to contact us. Next thing we go to is the options tab. And now here's where we enter in the calibration coefficients. So we want to make sure that this is selected to calendar van Dusen coefficients and we click specify and this is the table right here where you, where you will enter in all of those numbers like the ice point resistance for example I've, you know it was um, go back here it's 100.0446 so we would just plug that number in along with these other coefficients and at that time we can go ahead and we can save this um, set up or we we can just go back to the uh, the configuration um, and then we hit the transmit button and that will upload all of this information into the transmitter. One thing I like to do after you do that is to actually go back in and check all the tabs to make sure that all the information is correct. Um, just kind of a double check to make sure you have everything set up correctly. That's really about all there is to it. Um, if you have questions on this, feel free to contact us at info at burnsengineering.com or visit our website and we'll include more contact information at the end of this video.